Thank you so much, uh, Anas. Uh, you are so far away, but I'll try to speak loud enough so you can hear me. You can hear me? Good. I'll try to do that. Thank you so much to also Estelle and Sina for amazing talks, and I'll try to, to follow their acts the best that I can. Um, <clears throat> the project, uh, as Anas almost uh, mentioned, is named Designing Mobilities Together. And we're calling it a knowledge collaboration between students of techno-anthropology, you are the most important resources that we have, so you are first here, uh, Volvo UXCC and Tentlab. Uh, these collaborators are all co-located co here on the Copenhagen campus, which means they are all here right now. Um, and that means that this uh, unique co-location uh, has compelled us to think a lot about how we might uh, design our teaching in new kinds of ways uh, in our bachelor's programs, in our master's programs in techno-anthropology. And what we've done so far is that a lot of our students have done semester programs in collaboration with Volvo's User Experience Competence Center, but we felt it was uh, the right time to sort of expand upon this, uh, co co uh, this uh, collaboration. So what we tried to do is to collaborate throughout a whole semester actually this time around. And the basic idea is that through this uh, collaboration to bring these co uh, collaborators closer together and that will also, and very importantly, make us understand better how techno-anthropology produces value. So what kinds of value does techno-anthropology produce? And in this presentation, I will uh, try to tell you how we will bring these different uh, co collaborators uh, together and why that has been the case. So I assume that all of you know uh, Volvo cars and you also know that they are made in Sweden. Maybe you didn't know that Volvo cares a lot about people. Uh, and the way that uh, uh, Volvo puts that is that in Sweden, it's the bottom text there, in Sweden, uh, care for people is a priority. Everyone is important. All life is important. And that has, and that has always uh, carried through naturally in Volvo's uh, ethos of car making. It is this care for the well-being of the driver, passengers and everyone around the car that has always defined Volvo and always will. So from this uh, very brief quote from yeah, Volvo's uh, website, uh, this suggests that car making is, a quite, is, a, is about a lot more than just making a physical car. And that was something that Volvo's user experience compass sensor confirmed when we spoke to them because they said they told us that they needed to recognize that we are actually designing mobilities more than just cars, that is. Uh, to us, that was of course very interesting because what does that actually Im uh, imply to state that you design mobilities? And that is what we're going to explore in this whole semester. And we created these three core questions, you could say, that we are after in this project. The first of them reads how to understand the mobility of people, uh, of, uh, people and things, signs and, and symbols, how to understand mobilities in short. And how might we take part in designing desirable um, mobilities together? And lastly, and in the same goal, how to explore and further develop techno medical competencies and their value. So these are sort of the three main questions that we are after here. And um, the first thing, um, the first question was how to understand mobilities. And to sort of get into that, I want to show you a brief uh, video clip that I made the other day. I just stepped outside the door here at our Copenhagen campus and filmed that to get a glimpse of what mobilities might be. Okay, so <laughs> that was it. Not as, uh, not as greatly animated as the former one, but still, <laughs> um, we might learn something from this small video snippet. Uh, and I, what, what I want to suggest is that mobilities might best be understood as a matter of concern. 
Uh, and when I'm suggesting that, it's because it's kind of difficult to get the facts right when you think about uh, mobilities. And it's also quite difficult to get the values right when you talk about mobilities. Because what is actually going on in this uh, brief video? Is it about safety somehow, that it's not safe or it should be safer in some kind of way? Is it about pollution? Did I get, my, did I get <laughs> sick from walking here? Is there something else at stake? Is it about socialities, how people relate to one another? Is it maybe even about masculinities, so how you drive fast sometimes if you're a man in that kind of way, that you perform your, your, your masculinity? The sound didn't come out too, too clearly here, but if you walk out there, it's pretty loud. So maybe there's something about sound pollution here. Is it about cultures? I'm not going to explain them all in that kind of way, but you could say that. Is it about taxes? Should we pay more or should taxes be, be distributed differently into mobilities? Is it about rights and duties? Who should do what? Is it about livability? Should Sudhavn be a better place when it comes to mobilities? Is it about coexistence of bikers, for instance, and walkers and cars and so on? Is it about match realities? The road is a bit damaged here. How does that mean? Is it about technologies and new technologies? Is it about automation, something Volvo is very interested in? And of course, you could go on with this list. So through that, I wish to have shown that mobilities might be understood as a matter of concern. That is diff quite difficult to just pin down. The facts are not there. The values are, uh, are not clear within this field. If that is true, then the next, uh, uh, the next question was how to design desirable uh, mobilities. The next step then becomes that if mobilities are uh, best understood as matters of concern, and if you want to grasp and take part in designing mobilities, this is another local professor, uh, Ole B. Jensen, who found this notion of designing, uh, who has uh, working with this notion of uh, uh, designing mobilities, if that is the case, then our hunch is that we need a multi-method approach. So we cannot no longer only rely on eth ethnographic methods, neither is it probably the case that we can uh, rely solely on digital methods, and neither is it the case that we can rely solely on design methods. We need all of these methods to, to get ahead, you could say. But the tricky part is that we also need to find novel c combinations of these different methods. They can no longer just be separated as they were before. We need to find ways of combining these, uh, these methods. And that could be, and this is where this project becomes hugely experimental, as Astrid also alluded to, how to combine ethnographic work with, with digital methods and so on. And these are just some uh, or three examples of what we could explore. So how, for instance, to sequence anthropological, digital and design methods in new kinds of ways that lets us engage in matters of concern. How to integrate data visualizations in, for instance, a design method like a design game. How to move more seamlessly between these kinds of methods could be another way to, to explore this. So, and the third and the last question was how to explore and further develop techno and radical competencies and the value that these competencies create. And here the question is, you know, the answers are more of an organizational nature, because in this case we are aiming to do this by bringing together students from three different courses, namely a course in product development, in mapping controversies, and in anthrop anthropology-based product development from the A semester, and then also students from the sixth semester in digital methods, as Anna's talked about. So there we have the different kinds of methods and resources that we need. Then we also need to bring them together in a more practical manner, uh, which is why that we will meet up uh, regularly, all of us, Volvo included, uh, throughout this semester through these joint events. One of them is a kickoff event. We have a midway, uh, midway presentations and crit critiques, and we have a final expo where what we have done together will be discussed. Finally, <coughs> oh, yeah, just saying that in sum, what we'll try to do here is to be knowledge collaborating throughout this semester, all of us. So after all of that, you might still ask yourself, why is this even important and why is this exercise at all? And I just tried to sort of spell it out here that you can say that this whole semester and the way that we put together these courses is an experiment in handling matters of concern. Uh, because like mobility, more and more phenomena 
uh, might display uh, characteristics of being matters of concern. We've already seen two examples here, school politics, for instance, and obesity is another example. Uh, and if that is the case, then we need to work up competences, competences in handling such matters of concern. And we believe that uh, that will only happen if we work together in new and novel kinds of ways. And that means, for instance, to work across the social and the technical. It means working across methods. And it also means working across professions and different sectors. And designing mobilities is an experiment. We don't know what will work, what will not work. But it is an experiment that tries to do exactly that, to work across these different uh, uh, elements. So yeah, that was it from me. Thank you.